All right, I want you to be able to solve exponential equations like this one. Now, you've probably seen these before, or rather you've seen questions where all you need to do is get a common base between the two numbers. If this was two to the x plus three and four to the two x minus one, I would have rewritten this as two squared and then dropped the, the two twos so I'd set the exponents equal to each other because they have the same base. But that's not the case here. Instead, there's nothing that we can turn 7 into to make it 4. We can't turn 4 into 7 with exponents, at least not super easily. So we need another way to solve this. Let me show you how we do it. We need to get the exponents down. What I'm saying is the x's or the variables are in the exponents and we have to bring them down. I hope you know how to do that. It's it will come up on a log test whenever you have a log test in your life. But I need you to take the exponents down as you log both sides. Log of 7 to the x plus 3, you could bring that x plus 3 down, and it's x plus 3 times log 7. And you also, on this side, end up with 2x minus 1 times log 4. Some students are going to prefer to make these decimals. But if your teacher is asking for an exact answer, you have to leave it as log 7 and log 4. Anyways, this becomes you distributing, uh, you know, grade 9 stuff. Log 7 times x, log 7 times 3. You get x log 7 plus 3 log 7. Not bad. And here, you would distribute your log 4 through the brackets. 2x log 4 minus 1 log 4. I'm not going to write the 1. Cool. I'm going to collect terms that have x in it on one side and terms without x on the other side. So on the left hand side I'll keep my x log 7. I will move my 2x log 4 to the left hand side and switch the sign as I do it. On the right hand side I still have my negative log 4 over here and I'm going to move my 3 log 7 along with switching the sides, or switching the sign. The reason I'm collecting my x's on one side is because I can now factor x out. x is common to both of these terms, so it can be pulled out and everything that remains is in brackets. I still have my negative log 4 minus 3 log 7 on the right hand side. And to solve for x, all I have to do is divide both sides by this massive thing in brackets. So, my final answer is negative log 4 minus 3 log 7 over log 7 minus 2 log 4. How can you not do that in your head? The answer is very few people can. I don't know anyone who can. So don't get down on yourself. You could probably rearrange this. You could probably use log rules to simplify this a little bit, but most teachers will accept this as an answer. This is it. Check. I will show you how I would, uh, what I would do here. Remember that rule where if, you, if you're taking the log of a number with an exponent, you could bring that exponent down? Well, you can do the reverse and bring the number in front of the log up. So I'm going to get rid of this too, make it squared up here. And I'm going to get rid of this negative, actually, and put it up here. Pretty sweet. That leaves me with a log of one quarter. Boy, I hope you remember what a negative exponent does. It flips the base. Oh, and I can take my 3 and put it up here. I don't even know what 7 cubed is. 7 to the power of 3 is 343. Log 343 over log 7 minus log 4 squared is 16. Pretty sweet. And finally, when you have two logs that are subtracted from each other, that's the same as the log of the quotient. 1 quarter divided by 343 and 7 divided by 16. I don't think you can simplify these logs anymore. I will get you what this number is, though. 1 quarter divided by 343 gives me the log of 1 over 1372. 
there you can see it there, over the log of 7 sixteenths. Again, these are the same values. I'm just simplifying a, a little bit. Have to remind you of log rules and have to say, is this really that much more simplified? Uh, arguably it is. You only have two logs, although they are both fractions. Whatever, it's a free country, and I don't care what you do. Although I do care that you ace your test. But that's why I'm here for you. Hey, best of luck.